What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Keeping It Real podcast. Every week, talking all things movies and TV. I'm your host, James Porter, and joining me today is Jack Austin. Slightly smaller episode. We are doing a full spoiler review of the Russo Brothers' new movie, Cherry, on Apple TV+. Plus. This movie was... You know I was very keen to watch and review this movie. Yeah, you were. Not all of us were. And (laughs) I've heard some just absolutely bonkers things about it, and... I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you now, I'll, I'll start off by saying it really didn't let me down in that regard. It was fucking nuts. It really was. It, it was nuts. Uh, I didn't know it was nuts. I think you told me maybe like an hour before I was about to watch it that you'd heard it was fucking wild. And I didn't know that before I went to watch it. So um, I've got a more mixed opinion of you than you, I think. I've got a feeling... I, that your negatives are going to be my positives. Oh, yeah, probably. Got, we, we spoke very briefly about it, but yeah. I, I didn't want to hear any more. I, I, wanted to, I wanted to save this, but um, yeah. Um, I think we can both agree that Tom Holland is fantastic. Oh, uh, he's, yeah, he's, he's an exception. He's exceptional. He, I, I was talking to a friend the other day and he watched it maybe like two days ago, and he reckons within the next eight years Tom Holland will get an Oscar. And I, I agree that he, I reckon in his lifetime will. I don't think it'll be that soon, but I agree he's probably going to get one at some point in his career. I think if he carries on with performances like this and The Devil All the Time, then that would certainly be a possibility because he's not my favourite Spider-Man. He's not. I think he's very good, but that he's showing him. Yeah. A very different side to him in these movies and I'm really liking it yeah I like again I, I really like him as Peter Parker he's probably my favorite because I, I mean we'll talk about this at some point probably with like the next Spider-Man movie I just think he encapsulates the the, the high school Peter Parker like to, yeah. a, to a T I just think he's so good but the devil all the time I didn't speak to many people who had many favourable reviews about that film, and I thought he was great. I thought it was really good. Yeah, I had mixed opinions on that movie, but he was he was great. Um, well, we should preface this by, uh, if you're not familiar with Cherry, if you haven't seen it, uh, this is a take on the opioid um, epidemic uh, in America of war veterans coming back, and instead of maybe talk, uh, being talked through their problems and help with their PTSD, they are just pushed with opioid medication to help them get through the pain. And a lot of that turns sour and they get addicted and it turns, well, uh, yeah, it, uh, it turns bad as we see in Cherry. I think, I think sour is, is an understatement. It lightly. Maybe. Yeah. Like <laughs> his life really goes to like putting it lightly. His life goes to shit. Yeah, very quickly. Um, I I really enjoyed the whole bit when he's in the army. Um, that was my favourite part as well. That was yeah, I thought that was the strongest part of the film. I had no real qualms with it. Um, and then the scene where they go through that like the desert and like their car like the car sinks in the sand or something. Yeah. Is it sand? Yeah. And then when his friends get onto another vehicle and they drive away and then it explodes. That yeah. bit, re, watch it like watching it back. That it was almost guaranteed to happen because it was so calm, and you know they were having a bit of like bants before it. And I really should have seen it coming, but I didn't. Because yeah, I, was blind. I didn't. I was I was too into it, and it yeah. caught me off guard. But he plays Dude. that the the shock and the fear and the anguish just so incredibly yeah. well. And my favorite scene comes right after that, where he's on the phone to his oh. to his wife. Yeah, and she, and he like, I think she, uh, he's like blubbering the whole time, and then at the end of the phone call, she says I love you, and he just slams the phone he, down, doesn't he? Can't, he? he can't, he can't even, finish it. Yeah. No, he it's can't incredible. even finish the call. Really good. Their their relationship, um, is it's really the heart and soul of the movie. Yeah, I agree with that, but I think the oh, this part of their relationship. <laughs> uh just really annoyed me like at the beginning 
they uh, I, it just didn't feel natural at all you know the beginning there i oh. think they're in like a park or a graveyard or something it looks like yeah. a graveyard and he tells her that she loves him and she does the classic <laughs> like movie thing of of thank of just says thank you but then she just gets up and just leaves i thought that was really funny i just thought it was so weird and i was just like i was like i get like people react differently but she literally just goes i was like she doesn't try to make him feel better about it she just goes. i thought that i thought that paid off later when well obviously we find out that she might she you know she maybe has some issues with um it was her um her father wasn't it and yeah that kind of connection might scare her and that's why she wanted to move away because she yeah. She does feel the same, but she's afraid of getting involved in something like that. Yeah, and I thought that's like a that's like a really good angle to go down. But I just thought that that one instance was just like that's really bizarre. Yeah, and like I I feel really bad criticizing a Russo movie because they have created four of the best MCU movies ever. So they have they have free reign to do they can do whatever they want, and I'll watch it. Well, but, yeah, let's talk about that because I. I thought when I was watching it, they are really throwing everything at the wall in hopes of it sticking. Yeah. And and a lot of it does, and some of it doesn't. Um, yeah. It really it felt like either a debut of a director who's you know not so sure. Let's go with that, or they're maybe a bit too sure of themselves, and yeah, they're guaranteed to work. But if I was if I was going to make a movie like this, I can guarantee I would have done a lot of the same stuff. I would have just made it weird. And every I, yeah. every stupid idea I had, I would have gone, yeah, throw that in as well. Yeah. And that's what, I, they felt, I, that's what it felt I did, did. I, I, I liked a lot of it, but there were just some things that just really, <laughs> I don't know. Like, so they don't, so obviously they don't give Tom Holland a name in this film, which I, I like that. Yeah, like I don't. That's not my issue, sorry. Um, but okay. that also seems to be a thing that people are just doing. Like um, in Tenet, John David Washington is just the protagonist. Yeah, I didn't so much enjoy it there, but in this, it felt like because this isn't just one person's story. This is a yeah, uh, yeah, a national so yeah, yeah. So like a national based on a national crisis, and I understand that, and I thought that was like that was good. But then I I felt like they didn't really like keep it going. Like for example, so when I thought it would have been better when he's in, uh, when he's at basic training and he's in the army, all the other people have um, like a badge basically, like a like a stripe with their name with their surname on it. Yeah. Whereas his just says army, and I just thought it would have been better to like just keep with the theme, like all of them just have army, don't give any of them names, because he doesn't mm. properly interact with many of them really, does he? No, then... I've, you see that carried throughout when, um, you know, when he's robbing banks and stuff, a lot of them are just called the bank or shitty bank. Yeah, yeah, that kind of annoyed me. Another, I don't really... Yeah, another stylized approach that they took that, I know, I, I, it worked for me, but... Yeah, but then with that, with like the theme of the, the name, they do, it's, I just felt it was really inconsistent because the... When he goes to sign up to the army, the guy he speaks to is called like Sergeant Whomever. Yeah. And then the and then the doctor who starts Dr. prescribing whomever. him pills, Doctor Whomever. And I was just like, like I if you're going for it, keep it consistent. I just did I just didn't feel like it was. And like mm. a part a part of me, and I know it like I'm I know I'm wrong in thinking this. <laughs> I just thought it was a bit lazy, to be honest. Those things. I I, I, I don't I really know why. I thought they were saying like it's not it you know these aren't people they are ideas and yeah. they don't in this story they don't need a name really. Yeah. I just sort of went I along get, with it. Yeah, I get what they were going for, and it, but, but like I just I'm just one man's opinion. This didn't work for me. Like I get it probably. Yeah, yeah. I get that. And I, and also it's not even like a huge issue I have. I, I've just taken it and rolled with it really. 
Like, yeah. it, it annoyed me briefly, and I'm the kind of person, if it annoys me briefly, I just fester on it forever. <laughs> All the way through, you I'll, can't get over I'll, that. I'll be on my deathbed, and someone will, like, <laughs> lean into me, and I'll whisper, I thought it was really lazy, they named him Doctor Whomever. <laughs> and then I'll just go, why'd they give him no name? Yeah, just keep it keep it consistent. Um, yeah, their, their style in this was, it, it felt like it took priority over over the story yeah it was it was very aggressive in that sense yeah it was and another issue for me (laughs) i feel like this is i feel like i'm a therapy like i feel like i'm telling you like all the things i hate and then you're just trying to make me feel better about them (laughs) i will defend this movie (laughs) i i just thought like so bearing in mind that i think that literally the day before I watched There Will Be Blood, which is a two which is two hours and forty minutes long, yeah. about an oil tycoon. And when I when I went to watch it, I was like, this is gonna feel two two hours and forty minutes is gonna feel like eight hours and thirty minutes. This is right. gonna be awful. And it absolutely flew by. I loved it. You know, we talked about it after I watched it. But Cherry is twenty minutes shorter than that, but it felt twice as long for me. I just it was I I think maybe I'm not sure if it's because of the like the subject matter and obviously these are like really like all like the drug addiction and stuff and like his PTSD is like obviously super depressing but it's mm. but it's real and it's like telling a story of things that people actually go through but I I don't know if it was just like the subject matter or the way they did it it just felt so much longer than it needed to be like two hours twenty minutes I thought was like yeah that's a good time for a a film to tell a story but there's a difference between it being two hours and 20 minutes and feeling longer i think the problem with that was i've 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 written it down here was that it was never really building to anything yeah there wasn't there wasn't this big climax it wasn't ramping up to anything specifically i felt like the ending could have come at any moment really within that Within the yeah. third act. Yeah, no, so, yeah, I get yeah, that. I get what you mean. But the ending as well. Uh, <laughs> oh, are we gonna are I, we gonna talk about that awful fake mustache? Yeah, what I wanted to say, I said to you beforehand that I wanted to say something about it before <laughs> you watched it, but I wanted to save it for this. And you've you've seen Parks and Recreation, haven't you? Yeah. Tom Holland looks like Sewage Joe. <laughs> With his mustache. <laughs> as soon as, as soon as it, because his hair's quite long as well, and it's all slicked back. And as soon as yeah. he, I saw that mustache, I was like, "That's Sewage Joe." Sewage Joe. Sewage oh. Joe is serving time. Tom Holland's 24 years old. I'm not buying him as a 45 year old. I'm yeah. assuming he was meant to be around that age. I, <sighs> yeah, I think he, I think it was like 20 years, like yeah. 15 or something. It's 15 or 20 years he was there. But the my thing was, you. Issue, it didn't oh, feel God. it didn't feel necessary as well to have that epilogue. No, it didn't. No, because I, again, I, like you are telling the story of not just one person but many people. Yeah. That you didn't need to hone in so specifically on him in yeah. prison. That it 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 did feel tacked on and just it took away from the rest of the movie for me. Well, I thought I thought it was going to end. Like before the epilogue started, I was like, "This is a great ending because it ends up, you know, he wants to get caught, essentially. Yeah, he can't do this anymore. Go- yeah, he can't do it anymore. It's gotten to him too much. He's he's ruining. He's not only ruining his own life. He's ruining his wife's life as well. Yeah. So he he shoots in the sky to get yeah. like the attention of the police after they've caught after they've been called, and he well, I thought it was really like really powerful that he takes that like one last hit. Yeah. And he takes off his shoes and he injects it into his into his like toes. And then him just like, you know, uh, just getting that one last release for the last time. I just thought it was and like the music is quite like re- it's really heavy and like that bird's the score eye view was of him, really good. Yeah. Yeah. The the bird's eye view of him and the camera panning out, I was like, this is a fantastic place to end the film. And then they went and did the epilogue. And my biggest issue, my biggest issue with the epilogue isn't even the mustache. It's I don't think that Ciara Bravo should have been there. 
I think it should have just been him on his own coming out. And also another issue. Yeah. She she already looks so young. Yeah. So both of them do, yeah. Trying to age, so <laughs> trying to age her, like I, I almost felt like a bit uncomfortable with him acting with her because she still looks younger than him and he still looks very young. So it was literally like a like a nineteen year old and a fifteen year old for most of it for me. I was like, she just looks so young. And she's like her age doesn't really have like it's not an issue for the film. Like she's still she's brilliant in it. Yeah. But but the hard work at the end, making someone who already looks very young, twenty years older, you basically have to make them look thirty years older. Yeah, I, it just really didn't work for me at no, all. I, that I, final part. I don't, I don't know whose idea that was. I think it it soured the ending for me because I think but cutting it before the epilogue would have been it would have definitely improved my overall rating of the film, especially in a movie that is it's already so long. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you didn't need uh, that. No, it really didn't. Um, <laughs> when you told me about a part that really made you laugh and you wanted to talk about, I just I straight away assumed um, that you were talking about the asshole shot. <laughs> because there is a shot in this movie from the POV of Tom Holland's asshole. <laughs> Not of the asshole, even. Inside. And Yeah. I mean, what better sums up this movie's style than a shot I'm... from inside an asshole? You know, James, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna be the one to say it. I think that might have been too far. <laughs> <laughs> you think you think I'd I just imagine like I can just I'm, I'd I'd love to think it was like completely ad libbed not in the script they were just like let's fucking do it <laughs> not the asshole <laughs> like, like Joe Russo just sits him down he's like Tom coming at you man I've got an idea and Tom's like let me hear, <laughs> let me hear. you did Infinity War and Endgame you are a genius let me know what 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 tell me what to do and I'll do it and he's like I want to go in your asshole and he's like yeah <laughs> fine that's fine for me. Yes. I was assuming they made a that that was a that was a prop. Well, yeah, but he's uh, he's just really method, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he's like if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this for real. <laughs> yeah. We have the tech. Yeah. Let's just yeah. do it. Oh, like he loves doing his own stunts and stuff in Spider Man, so let him do his own asshole work. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get my ass double in here for this? No. <laughs> no, no. The the audience will know. The audience will no, know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they'll know. <laughs> they will definitely know. I don't think they will. No, they they for sure will. <laughs> we know. can't risk it. it. <laughs> this film is so grounded that I can't let anything ruin it. <laughs> <laughs> what did you feel about the narration? Because to me, there was a bit too much. So, again, inconsistencies for me. So in in the first. I think like the epilogue, mate. No, the prologue. He mm. he does a lot of fourth wall breaking. Yeah. And then he just doesn't ever do it again. I don't think he just stops doing it. There's definitely a lot less of it. Yeah. Yeah, and I just thought like I I didn't I liked the fourth wall break. I thought it was interesting like interesting angle. I, I was like, that, yeah. just, if you're gonna do it, then just do it. Um, Keep up with it. Yeah. Yeah. There was one scene that really upset me. <laughs> um, hmm. and again this is just me being really pathetic and pedantic <laughs> and uh, and again I've never like uh, who am I to say because I have never made a film but it was at the bit where he he meets Sierra Bravo's character for the first time yeah or, or like well we see them meet for the first time and they're talking and for some reason everything around them I know they do this a lot in films is like really, bl- it's like really blurred, like super blurred, like almost like too, like they've gone over the top with it. Okay. So, and it keeps cutting back and forth between them and doing the same thing. And I thought that was like, initially I was like, oh, that's cool because he, I think he'd just taken ecstasy or whatever. And I was like, that's simulating maybe the feeling of it being on ecstasy and like, you know, talking to a girl that you like, really like or whatever. I thought it was like okay, that's pretty cool. Like maybe this is this is how this will happen all the time, or like when it's just those two together, and then again, never yeah. happen again. And it kind of when I realised it wasn't going to happen again, it kind of took me out of it a bit. I was like, oh, then what was that about? 
Yeah, I did notice that. It, yeah, it's when they first meet outside the school. Yeah. Um, after class, and I just I just got from it that nothing else around the nothing else around them mattered in that moment. It was just them, so blur it out. So again, that yeah, that worked for me. No, I can see I can see it, and um, people listening to this probably think I hated this film. I didn't hate it. I actually <laughs> like. I did. Yeah, I've I'm, seen my review overall is positive, even though I think I have said more negative things than positive. Yeah, I I would say definitely watch it. I think it's it's very watchable. Um, yeah. There are just some things for me that didn't work, but I I would never say to someone don't, absolutely don't watch it. That's not yeah. the case at all. It isn't the mess that I um that other people have called it. I was expecting a lot worse when it really, yeah. it was, it was probably as good as I was hoping for. Yeah. I, well, again, I, I didn't think it was going to be as, as bonk as, as it was. I I, it yeah. Was... And you know me, I love weird shit. So this was right up my alley. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I, I really enjoy weird stuff as well. I just, uh, when it's, uh, I, 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 I can't really point my finger at, well, it really... was a lot more. It was style over substance. That's not yeah. to say there wasn't substance, but it was definitely. Look at what we can do. They were thinking about yeah, yeah. the next, the next camera angle over the next character move. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I, um, oh, there was one. This is gonna be my last thing to say about this. <laughs> but before, before we like give our like final rating or whatever, but. Um, him robbing banks so I get it was really minimalist and like he actually doesn't really do very much he just goes up and say, says I have a gun you know he yeah. shows the bank that says I have a gun um, but there are so many shots of him doing it where he's literally just not even bothering to hide his face <laughs> like he looks at yeah. cameras all the time he's, he's how's every this time... guy not been caught yet yeah, he leaves the bank every time, and he always, he always looks up, and I'm like, I've never robbed a bank before, but I definitely would look <laughs> down. Probably won't do that. Yeah, I don't know. Like maybe that's something they were aiming for that I that's gone over my head, but maybe he was just uh, so numb to it now that he didn't he didn't care. Maybe yeah. he subconsciously wanted it to end. He wanted to get caught. Yeah, yeah maybe. that's probably very likely, but. Yeah, it's, it's, I don't know, it's, again, it took me out, I know it was supposed to be a bit weird, but it kind of took me out of what I was, I and went into thinking it was going to be a relatively grounded story. Oh. <laughs> and I, I it wasn't. I pretty shocked then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, should, let's, let's score this thing. I think we're going to have yeah. very different scores. Uh, yeah, do you want to go first? Um, so I'm, uh, I'm thinking... Two and a half, maybe, maybe three at a push. Maybe three at a push. Yeah, maybe three full Pacinos, but <laughs> I'm, I'm leaning to like two and a half. I'm leaning towards two and a half. You're going to go with again, two and a half. Okay. Yeah, I just it's too much about it annoyed me, and I again, I'm not saying it's definitely not a bad film. It's just I I just. That yeah, like you said before, style over substance for me. There's too much going on. Yeah, I think if you are gonna watch this, just prepare yourself beforehand for something a bit, a bit wacky, a bit weird. Yeah. Very up what, itself. What What are you gonna give it? I'm I'm very happy with a three point five. I three point five. I really liked it. Yeah. yeah, I do have some negatives, but they they just never outshined. The positives for me, I thought it was really good. Tom Holland was great, and it was nice to see the Russo brothers just let loose after they've been in the Marvel machine for so long. Yeah, no, I understand that. And like I said before, like these men have the right to make whatever they want because they have <laughs> given us, they have given us four almost perfect superhero films, if not perfect. Uh, so. They can do what they want, and I will always watch it, and I'll always be excited to watch it. But just for me, this what like this one just didn't work for me. 
Well, everyone, that was our review of Cherry. Thank you so much for listening. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at Keeping It Real UK. From there, you can find the links to our Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube. Remember to like, rent, subscribe wherever you can, and we'd really appreciate it. We'll be back later this week with a Marvel 2021 movie and TV preview. Hope you have a great week, and we'll see you again soon.